Hello and welcome to the Quabba Channel. I'm Jason, your host. I'm not the easiest person to live with. I'm not the easiest person to be around. It takes a specific kind of person to deal with my issues. I... How can I put it? Anything that threatens my safe space will, will cause conflict. This conflict is usually short, the short in space, usually minutes or less. But when I My brain works on a Hollywood version of the universe. What do I mean by that? Where everybody tells the truth. This is the core part of myself. Because my brain doesn't understand lies, doesn't understand the concept of deception, doesn't understand using lies or white lies or anything like that my base version of the universe is where politicians tell the truth where companies have your best interest at heart where good guys always win where doing the right thing gets you rewarded where being honest is the best thing in life. Every single one of you watching this knows that isn't true. It's the ideal that we go towards, that we try to strive for. But the world isn't truly like that. The problem is, my brain has a fixed version of the universe where it is like that because my brain doesn't build its base of version of the universe based on the reality of lies and everything like that. It is my ultimate safe space. It is the safe space that is my universe. And so anything that goes against that will cause a visceral reaction from me, an instant reaction from me. I will actively fight against any data that doesn't fit on a base level. Even though I know that it's not right. Now, I can calibrate that. I can. I have many coping strategies. I have ways of dealing with it. I have ways of um, fighting against it. But it usually takes minutes, hours t for my brain to recalibrate when something has threatened my safe space. Like that. And this isn't something I can learn to be better at. This isn't something I can click my fingers or improve myself on because it's a... It would be like trying to teach me to lie. It can't happen. It's not something that will ever happen. My brain at a base level does not understand the concept or the why or how people lie it's a base difference in my head that that side just doesn't hold water well i can understand the rational in theory we know that the rational and what you think in rationale does not actually affect how your brain perceives things my I, my brain 
doesn't work like most. I don't have a choice. I can't work on it to get better. This is the problem. This is just how I am. I can create coping strategies, but I can't actually change the base routine of my life. Last night at nine o'clock at night, I came off Discord. I had been chatting with Manny and everybody else. We had a wonderful time. And I knew that I needed to go to sleep to get a few hours sleep before Munchies, the karaoke show and that, that I do the pre-show for and everything. So, let the dogs out. Got undressed, got into bed. The dogs jumped on the bed and got all comfy. Zaki decided, she, Zaki wanted to get under the covers as per usual. So, I had a crazy little ball of thingy wriggling around underneath the covers. And then I lay down, turned my head and tr tried to get to sleep because I knew that if something come up into my head, when something comes, I have to get to sleep really fast. If I don't, if something comes up and my brain said to me, just as I was about to fucking go to sleep, we need to do a budget shop. You haven't got enough food in for this week. Now, a person who doesn't deal with these things, with the rational and the logic of the situation of it being nine o'clock at freaking night and that and being tired as fuck would have been able to say okay i can do it tomorrow no roadblock that was a roadblock it was a roadblock to me going to sleep it was a roadblock to me going to munchies if i hadn't didn't deal with that right at that moment nothing else in my life would ever happen no choice it's not something you can break through it has um the top tier of control and decision i had a choice do a shop or not go to munchies and do a shop in the morning now I'm low on money at the moment. My funds are very limited. I've just about covering the bills until the end of the month. And I'm waiting for some money to come in to pay some bills, some solicitor stuff and all that kind of crap that's got to be paid. And I've got to. And so I don't have enough to do a Tesco shop or a Morrison shop or an online shop. The big shops, well, that's what I mean, the online shops that I could do because you have to do a minimum of 40 pounds at that and i couldn't do that and i went and checked and i had 20 i got up went downstairs got my clothes on checked about uh, and in the house i had 23 pounds in the house not enough for a big shop but enough for a shop so i let the dogs out again i locked them into the living room area made them comfortable um, Got my Quingo out, got on my mobility scooter, and at, at half past nine, I was on my in the dark on my way to Tesco to do a shop. I got there, I did a, I got some sausages, some pasta, some different bits and pieces that I could stretch out the food for. A week and make it okay so i spent 15 pounds 27 pence there and i came back home by about 10 p.m i'm guessing you don't have to do that i'm guessing if something bad happens and something affects you like this or something comes to mind you can actually probably put it off till the morning to a reasonable time so I didn't manage to get some sleep at all because by the time I got home, I was too wired by the event of going out at night on the Quingo, which is a very different experience than during the day. And 
So that's my whole life. That's my whole, while I have all my coping strategies and do all this and everything to try and limit the way this can basically bring my life to a standstill. This is why that I will never be able to have a job. Because imagine if I've got a job. Imagine if I've fucking got a job. And I've got to go into work. Or even if I've got to go to work here and do an, and work from home and that. Imagine if that. And as I'm moving from my bedroom to my work, something comes up to mind and takes over. And I can't go and do my work because for the entire day, something else has come up in my brain. It isn't a choice of will. It isn't something I can fight. It isn't something I can change. It's a complete, it takes complete control for whatever it is that comes up into my mind, I have to change direction and do that. This is Jason for the Quiver Channel. I hope you all have a good day.